first and second period, you guys were a totally different team from that third period. Was there anything in the intermission or just did you guys feel too comfortable maybe with the lead? Well, I don't know. You know, 4-1 uh, lead uh, after uh, two periods, it's uh, pretty big. And uh, we, we lost uh, lost again. And, uh, you know, lost a game uh, like this, it's uh, pretty bad for us. But, you know, it's... Uh, it's a lesson, and uh, you know it's good. Uh, and um, you know you have uh, another game soon, so we're gonna see. You know, it didn't get pucks deep. We didn't get pucks out of our zone, and you know, ultimately it cost us. It seemed like did that carry over to overtime? It didn't seem like the usual kind of jump and juice and OT. Uh, I think maybe. Uh, you know, I'm not sure, but you know we definitely uh, you know didn't play our, our game in the third, and it cost us. Tom, what do you think the the biggest difference was? The first and second period, it was like you took coach's words to heart from from the last game, and you guys weren't like doing exactly what he asked you to do. It seemed like a different team in the third. Yeah, when when we do what he tells us to do, we succeed and we win. And you know, when we don't do what he does, what he tells us to do, you know, that's what happens in the third. Things like that. And you know, uh, he set out a game plan. We did it really well in the first two periods, and you know, the third period, shame on us. Um, but at the same point. I don't think it was so much of us. It was more on us than it was on, on them. Matt, did you feel it slipping away? Last time the three goals happened real quick when you played them the first time. They scored three times in three minutes. No, I wasn't feeling it slipping away. I, we got a team that can that can beat anybody. And should have done that tonight. How frustrating is it, Matt? You, the first two periods, you guys really took yeah. Coach's words to heart from the last game, and it seemed like you executed exactly what he wanted you to execute and I guess how frustrating is it to come out in the third and, and kind of be a different team? Yeah, it's, it's frustrating to say the least, I guess. Um, we've been working hard and you know, paying the price extra hours at the, at the rink and to have this result, like I said, unacceptable. Yeah, I mean, every time I get called up, it seems that the first game I'm, I'm flying and, and now it's just a matter of... Uh, doing that every night. Um, tough, obviously tough outcome in this one, but you're going to be pretty happy with the way you played, not just early yeah. in for shift, but throughout the contest. Yeah, for sure. I, I felt pretty good tonight, and it's just unfortunate that we came out uh, with a loss here, and I thought we, we played good for the two first period, and then the third we kind of get away from our game, and it cost us. What does it mean that you get some ice in overtime, and, and you're, you're in the shootout as well? It shows that they have uh, confidence in, in me and they are not scared to play me in a uh, in, uh, in big uh, situation and I'm happy that they got confidence in me. Bruce said today one of the things that he's looking for from you is consistency. With that in mind, mm -hmm. you need to... Yeah, exactly. Sorry. I mean, it's, it's just one game now. i got to do it next game and the other game and for the rest of the year if we can, if we can stick here. Matt, everyone is disappointed, obviously, in this locker room, to say the least, but you especially... I mean, with the first two periods that you had, this has to be the most frustrating outcome that you could ever think of. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you want to come here and, and help the team to win. And then you, you feel like you play good, and then you came out and you lose. So, But, I mean, I'm sure we're going to bounce back from it. And uh, we've got a great group of guys in, and we'll be better next game.